The Lord bless you and keep you. Lord, make his face to shine upon you. Be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Father, we thank you for this new day that you've given us. And we pray, Lord, there's so many voices and there's so many messages that by your Spirit you'll give us a discernment that we will sift out the dross from the truth and that we will do exactly what you want us to do, that we will let by you, Holy Spirit, and that we will speak words that will always bring glory and honor to your name. We ask this in Jesus' name. Holy, 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 Lord God, the Almighty, who was and is and is to come, whenever the living creatures gave glory and honor and thanks to him who sat on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fell down before the one sitting on the throne. They worshipped him who lives forever and ever and threw their crowns before the throne, saying, O oh Lord, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power because you created all things and for your will they are created. And they sang a new song saying, You are worthy to take the book and to open its seals. For you were slain and have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. And you made us kings and priests to our God, and we will reign over the earth. And I looked, and I heard the voice of many angels around the throne, and the living creatures and the elders, and the number of them was myriads and myriads, and thousands of thousands, saying with a great voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And I heard every creature which is in the heaven and on the earth and under the earth and those that are in the sea and all who are in them saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be to him sitting on the throne and to the Lamb forever and ever. The four living creatures said, Amen. And the twenty-four elders fell down and worship the one living forever and ever. I want to read to you what a man wrote when he was going through a very tough time and the song that the Lord laid on his heart. And the song's name is The Anchor Holds. And he writes, the story behind the writing of this song begins in 1992 when my wife and I experienced what we now call our year of sorrows. My father died that year. We were facing health problems. I'd come to a point of burnout from being in pastoral ministry for 19 years. And the church that I had helped plant was entering the first phases of what became a devastating split. I was also reevaluating the focus of my calling. I was weary and very discouraged. Then in the summer of 92, my wife experienced a third miscarriage. We wept as we held a tiny 14-week fetus of our son in our hands. It truly felt as if our visions and dreams had slipped through our hands like grains of sand. It seemed as if it was the best years that we had were now over. I was given a sabbatical from pastoring for six months. During that time, my wife and I grieved and prayed. I also began to pray the piano again for hours at a time, alone with God. During this time of sadness and uncertainty, the Holy Spirit gave me a song which I entitled The Anchor Holds. As I would sing it, I began to experience God's comfort, encouragement and hope. Eventually, fresh vision came and I entered a new phase of the calling on my life. In the spring of 1993, my friend Ray Boltz heard about the song during a time of sharing together after one of his concerts in Maim. A few months later, 
Ray called me and expressed interest in possibly recording that song. I sent the song to him in very rough ways and told him that he was free to adapt it for his purposes. Ray reworked some of the lyrics, shortened it a bit and added a musical bridge and he called it, it and recorded it for his project called Allegiance. It was released for National Airplay in November 1994. The song, response to this song has truly been overwhelming. I'm so grateful that God can take our broken pieces and make something of value out of them. I'm so thankful to Ray Boltz who saw the potential of the song and utilized it for the glory of God. The words of that song says the following, I've journeyed through the long dark night out on the open sea by faith alone, sight unknown, and yet his eyes were watching me. I've had visions and I've had dreams and I've held them in my hand, but I never knew they would slip right through like they were only grains of sand. I've been young, but I'm older now. There's been beauty these eyes have seen, but it was in the night, through the storms of life. That's where God proved his love to me. The anchor holds, though the ship is battered. The anchor holds, though the sails are torn. I've fallen on my knees as I face the raging seas. The anchor holds in spite of the storm. There's some of our dear friends in the Willowmore area, Owen and Dion, George, Johannes, Henny, John, that are going through very tough times with drought. And Lord, we come to you this morning and we pray on behalf of them and the animals and the land. We stand with them in unison this morning, trusting you that you'll make a way out for them. We pray for abundant rain, that you'll just pour it on this earth, Lord, that even the dams will overflow. We pray for grace and mercy towards those farmers, that you'll pick them up, carry them through. Lord, they've been trusting you for years and many times for more months as well. And they've always said the rain will come when it's God's timing. We pray, Lord, that you'll be gracious and send the rain. And some, a lady also from Willowmore sent me this prayer, which I want to close with this morning. May God's richest blessings be yours today. May his grace abound toward you. May his love cascade over you. And may the rivers of his goodness flow abundantly through you. May he bless you with health in your body, joy in your soul, and peace in your heart. May I grant you strength for your daily tasks, wisdom in your decisions, favor in your labors, and provisions for your daily needs. May God's great outstretched hand of protection be over you and each member of your family. May He keep you throughout the day and bring you home safely from every journey. Above all, may He bless you with His presence. Keep your faith strong. Cause your hope to remain steadfast and keep your heart forever faithful. We pray this in the wonderful name of Jesus, our Savior and Lord. Amen.